in today's session, we are going to see about PQ. So, we will see what is PQ and what are the different operations we are performing on PQ. Like insert, delete, that is called pop, and insert, append, all those things. How it is possible, we will see. So, you know that Q. So, while we are going to some uh, to some shops or malls or particular counters, so if we can see Q, that means a large number of people are there. So, what they what what is the criteria? What is the condition they are following? Those who come first, they will get the services first, right? So, in the same way. Here also, Q will follow the same thing. First in, first out. Close. It will, it will take you and it will, uh, we, we will learn that for the two data structures. So it will follow first in, first out. Whether it is popping or inserting, it will follow. For popping, it is it will follow first in, first out. So in the same way, let us see for the DQ what it will do. See what it will have. So. As we are naming it as a DQ, D means doubly ended Q. So, for the doubly ended Q, we have two ends. So, the first end and the second end. So, this is the first and this is the second end. We are, we are having the two ends. So, we are also having two rays as well as two fronts. So, we will have two rays and two fronts. So, when the item uh, like uh, if we want to insert or if we want to pop, we can pop from both the sides that. So this is what about PQ. So in the this PQ is from the collection. It is a module from collections. So PQ is preferred over list in the cases when we have, when we need quicker append and pop operation. Them because it is easy from both the ends we can uh, remove or we can insert it is easy with the help of the uh, DQ while well, well, comparing with the help of list. So with the DQ the time convergence of this DQ is O of 1. And when comparing to the list it is O of n time convergence it will provide. And coming to the operations on DQ what are the different operations it will provide is as I have told you that append, append is inserting or adding. So it will insert by default the right end of the DQ. That means from the side it will insert. If you want to insert from the left side, we are having append left. We are having a function append left. If you want to remove by default, it will remove from the right side with the pop function. And if you want to remove from the left side, we have pop left. So let us see this with the help of a simple program. So first of all, we will import collections because this is from collections module. So we will import from the collections and then we will initialize the DQ here. We will initialize the DQ like this. DQ D equal to any variable you will give. D equal to collections dot DQ of 1, 2, 3. So you should initialize the DQ in this way. Any variable that is equal to collections dot DQ followed by the elements which you want. And the, I want to append 4 and that, uh, in the right side. So I am writing DQ dot append dot 4. So it will append in the right side. And then I am printing the whether I, I should check whether it is 4 it is appended or not. So I am printing here print DE. And then I should append from the left side. So DE is not append left of 6. From the left side I should append. Then I am printing the uh, values here print DE. Then after that I am popping DE dot pop. That means I want to remove the element from the right side. So I am removing with the help of this. And I am printing here print DE. Then pop left. That means from the left side, I want to remove an element. After that, I'm printing the values after deleting. So let us see the output what it will give. So see here, after appending 4, we will get 1, 2, 3, 4. Right? And then after appending 6, 
the left side, you will get 6 by 15. And then after appending, after deleting from right, you will get 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 is deleted. And after deleting from left, you will be deleted with 6. So you will be having 1, 2, 3. This is more about appending and deleting from the DQ. So we can delete and we can append from both the sides. That is not DQ. So we can also perform some more operations like index. So we can also give the index value here. Index element, whatever the element you want. So for example, if I want the element called 5, so I will give here the element is 5 and from the beginning position and the ending position. These are the arguments it will be. Element, beginning and ending. So in which occurrence it is there, that first the index element it will I will give you the index element, the, the index number, the first index of the value will change its argument. So it will check for this, what is the index position of this element. Let's insert i comma a, so it will insert in that particular location, whatever the key, whatever the element, whatever, the, whatever you are mentioning here, index i. So it will be, uh, i is the index and a is the element, so it will Add in that position, then remove. It will remove the element, which was element, and then count. So count is nothing but how many number of times uh, the value or the index is there. So it's how many number of times the particular value is repeating. So it will count that many number of times. So let us see this with the help of a simple example. So. To see this. So we will import collections and then we are initializing the DQ and after that I am writing index. So I, I want to search fourth value, so fourth element. So here is the fourth element, here is the fourth element. So beginning position is 2 and from the ending position is 5. So because there is two occurrences here, so I want from 2 to 5 only. So that's why I'm mentioning 4, 2, 5 will keep the first appearance position. And then I'm inserting 4. In the fourth position, I'm inserting 3. So where it will be inserted before this. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So after 4, this it will insert. Then I'm printing the D key. That means I'm inserting the values. And then I'm counting here 3. How many number of times? Is. And I am removing the 3. The first occurrence it will remove, not the whole 3. Only the first occurrence. What is the first occurrence here? This is the position. So it will remove this 3. And it will uh, I am going to print the DG. That means I am trying, trying to print the remaining values. So let me run this program. Let's see the output. So the, num the number 4 occurs in position. 4, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, yes. And I am going to insert 4,3. 3. So I am going to insert 4, 3 here. So in the fourth position I have inserted 3. And I am going to count how many number of 3's. So you can count here. 3 times 3, 3 are 3 is there. And then I am going to delete the first occurrence of 3. This is the first occurrence. I am going to delete this. 3, 1, 2, 3, 3, 4, 2, 4, you will get. So, this is how you will count and uh, indexing all these things you will get. And also, we can do some more operations like extend. We can also, so until now we have uh, done only one value, right? So, we have appended one value, we have deleted one value like that. But we can insert, we can append more than one values, multiple values we can append. This is from the right side, we can append with the extend function, and from the left side, we can append with extend left. And, uh, for, and reverse is the function where we can reverse the elements, and rotate is also possible. Rotate means how many number of elements you can rotate, we can rotate that number of elements. For example, if I want to rotate, 
three elements. So if it is in the right side, it will go to the left side with the three elements. So we will see this example so that we will understand it a better way. So let me copy this code. So So this is how we will do. So D equal to collection star D Q. Here I have given one two three is D Q. Extended four five six. That means here I can expect one two three four five six. Here I printed D E and extend left. So from the left we will extend. From the left we will get nine eight seven like that. And then here I am printing here. And then here you can observe here. This I am rotating minus three, so the three three values will rotate to left. So here I have given minus, so it will rotate to left. If, if I give plus, it will rotate to right. So here after the rotation and then reversing, you can also reverse the elements. The whole elements will be reversed. So let's see this output what it will give. Let me run this. So this is our output. So the DQ after extending D is one two three, and here I have extended four five six. So it's okay. One two three four five six we go. Then after that, extend left seven eight nine. So you can see seven eight nine here. So after rotating, so what I have rotated? I have rotated minus three. So minus three means you can see here how many it is rotated? Nine eight seven one two. Right side. So this is what the rotation and reversing is. See here from from right to left. Seven, eight, nine, six, five, four, three, two, one, like that. So let us give here plus three. What it will happen? You will see here. That means three elements will be rotated right side. So you can observe here. So four, five, six has been has come here. Four, five, six has come. Uh, the left side. So this is for right rotation and left rotation. So this is support DQ. So we have seen how to append, how to delete, how to extend the values from the right, left side, right side, how to rotate all these things. Right? So that's all for this video. Thank you everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.